In the meantime, a significant number of healthcare workers who've contracted the virus are not vaccinated, renewing concerns about vaccine hesitancy among people on the front line. Shamela Pullen spoke with Health Minister Dr. Christopher Tufton and now reports. The fourth wave of COVID-19 has presented new challenges. Healthcare workers are getting sick with the virus at a faster rate. Data from the Ministry of Health was not forthcoming, but we have been told that a number of them, particularly nurses, are unvaccinated. You know, I've had mixed um, reports from the associations. I've heard 50%, I've heard 60%, and I've heard a little above that. The, the challenge we face is that we do not, meaning our data collection methods, do not ask the health team if they are vaccinated and, uh, in a sense, can't force them to provide that information after the fact because it is considered confidential personal information. Health Minister Dr. Christopher Tufton says there are instances where healthcare workers are dying because they refuse to take the jab. Workers attached to the COVID wards and in the accident and emergency departments are most affected. The idea has been moved in about moving those who are not from the front line. The truth is we don't have enough persons to do that. If we were to take out that percentage and to reassign them away from the front line, then we would have a difficulty with the response on the front line. So it's not that we have a lot of choice in the matter. We instead therefore rely on providing the PPEs and the, you know, all the different protective gear, which, which they all use. As of Wednesday, only emergency cases will be facilitated at hospitals due to the overwhelming demand. Dr. Tufton says this decision was primarily taken because of the number of healthcare workers who are out sick and the few who are left behind are overworked. We are caught in a, a, a challenge, a dilemma if you will, where we have to prioritize. And when you prioritize in public health, it means you save those who are in dire need of help. And those who are not as serious but still needing work help support, they will have to wait. And so we and we say to the public, it's not by choice. It's it's based on the demand and the system, and in this instance, the challenges with our healthcare staff. So we ask them to exercise some patience. The Nurses Association of Jamaica, the Medical Association of Jamaica and the Jamaica Medical Doctors Association have called for a meeting with the health minister. Dr. Tufton says this will happen in the coming days. The associations have been calling on the government to tighten restrictions given the situation at public hospitals. We put the issue to the health minister. As of now, we do believe that our children should be back in the classroom. We do believe that persons should go back to work because it has been a long time. And parallel to all of this, of course, is encouraging people to take the precautions and very importantly, to get vaccinated. We have more than enough vaccines out there. And that message to my mind, is the message that hopefully, if adhered to, would reduce a lot of the challenges that we have in our hospital system today. Shamela Pullen, TVJ News.